Do you know why some violins have a yellow color, others greenish brown, dark brown and purple red? Today I tell you what this is all about. Hello, hello, back again. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy. And now today in my varnishing room here, I have all kind of different lights in order that that what I can see is perfect the color I am looking for. Computer screen so I can have my originals here on the screen while I'm doing the varnish or I have books here, violin reference books. And then while I color and varnish and put on the next layer of oil varnish on my master instruments, I try to do things as good as possible. Now, the color which turns out of an instrument is very individual. Let's say if I'm making a Stradivari, a typical Stradivari, it becomes a nice warm red brown. If it's a Guarnieri, I tend to make it a little bit more brownish color. And if I make a Domenico Montagnana like this one, I make it a intense dark purple red. The main reason that all instruments out there are different in color is not because they make a copy how I do from one maker to another, but mainly the main reason is that they have an issue with their colors. Now, interesting is, and that's why I put it this picture here on the wall, it's very green, right? And this was on my entrance up above the door, my sign of my workshop. It was a nice red brown when it has been printed and I got it printed even for outside sunlight resistant print. And after a few years, the sun was hanging my nice scroll and the red color went away. All colors in this nice world are made out of three different colors. I'll just show you here like this. These are three pigments. LA3 is blue, yellow, and red. If you take these three colors and you put red and yellow together, you have a nice orange. So then you have an orange. Now there are pigments out there which are already orange colored, but you can also obtain this color by putting two pigments together, let's say in a varnish. Put them inside in the oil varnish, and then you have a nice orange. And out of an orange color, together with a little bit of blue, it turns out to become brown. And then once you have this brown, you usually add some red and then you get your red brown. So it's actually in the very beginning, very difficult to find the right quantity for right from the first moment to have a nice red brown. And if you want to varnish yourself, you should actually sign up to Edgar Online Violin Making Academy. You can also purchase only the varnishing seminar and it's really so detailed. It's like being next to me and doing everything together with me. And you just get piece, piece, step by step, everything. Said that, and we look back to this green scroll, we can right away say that there is yellow and blue and the red faded away. Now it's exactly the opposite of Domenico Montagnana. Domenico Montagnana worked just during the same years of Stradivari in Venice and he had the magic ingredient, the right red pigments in those years, 17 something. If you see an original Montagnana, you are impressed how intense this red is. Now red is a very interesting color. Ferrari made a whole company and a whole story out of it. And you would say, oh, again, Edgar is talking about sports car. But if you go to Maranello, to the museum of Ferrari, red is actually their color and they made out of it a big issue. And if you see there in the museum, all the different shades of red and red could be a very aggressive and very raw color how it could be a very nice and warm color. For sure, Montagnana had a red color which was very, very strong, resistant, 
much more resistant than my print of my scroll, which I had exposed for at least 10 years above my front door of my workshop. And this is the reason that the red, dark, intense Montagnana cello is still seen and you can still look at it as such a intense, strong color. And if somebody says, yeah, I want a red cello, you have to watch out what red it is because if it is red like this one for instance it's really not so fancy i would say yeah this is already a little bit more intense this is from alizarin it's a alizarin red usually these reds are always oxidized from some metal and it depends on what kind of metal if it's iron if it's lead something like this and out of that you obtain a specific red oh. United States and Shanghai next month in October between 8 to Sunday 13th I will be in Shanghai and in November between 8 and 15th of November I will be in California write me and so we can get in touch a color which is very common in violin making is not this intense Montagnana red, but is more an orange looking violin. The reason for that is actually that at a certain point, artificial color extracts, let's call it, from Germany have been used more and more in violin making. This color then is fading a lot away. So a lot of this red color is fading, like we can see also here, and just little remains. And that's the reason that out of a red brown becomes then rather an orange or a green, yeah? Pigments itself are nothing else than solid, small ice cubes, let's say. And these pigments mixed into the varnish is a little bit like an ice cube into the normal water. You hardly can see an ice cube when it is swimming in a water. And in a sink, you can throw a lot of ice cubes inside and you don't recognize them. Idle pigments in the varnish are a little bit like ice cubes in the water. But at a certain point, it swaps over and then it's too much ice cubes and then you see only ice cubes and no water anymore. The same effect you try to obtain on an instrument of varnishing it with pigments. It gives you a very strong color, more interesting than uh, these extracts, which are soluble and are, yeah, cannot really rely on them like pigments. You try to have more material of transparent varnish, which is somehow combining or is around these tiny ice cubes, we call them now here pigments, so you cannot recognize these pigments and then they are very stable and you can just look at the instrument with a nice effect and it's more interesting and it apparently seems to be transparent there are pigments which are a little bit more transparent than others but it no need that they are transparent it doesn't need to be colored glass just simple pigments work perfect to make a very nice appealing and interesting varnish i also hope you enjoy this one and you have already subscribed to this channel if you watch this channel then you just have to sign up in order that you're always updated and you also give a certain kind of recognition to what i'm doing here tell your friends see you next time thanks for subscribing bye bye